have a collection of 90s Hondas. I know this one says Land Rover Discovery, but hear me out. Back in the 90s, Land Rover rebadged this as a Honda. Beside it, you also have two Civic SIRs, both in their EF9 and EG6 iterations. And over there, we also have a collection of Honda Type R's, an Integra Type R, and two Civic Type R's. Both of those come with the Honda B-Series double overhead cam engines. Here we have a custom-built off-road race vehicle. What started out as a Suzuki Vitara now has a Toyota 3S GTE turbo engine in it, mated to a Hilux transmission and Land Cruiser differential, custom reinforced. Here in front, we have steering that was adapted from forklift parts, a special hole for the power takeoff winch mounted deep inside the chassis. And at each corner, we have triple bypass shock absorbers meant for long travel and superior off-road dampening with full adjustability. Inside the car here, control panels control the hydraulic systems needed to make everything function. Here at the back, we have the fuel cell and surge tank, as well as the power takeoff winch connected directly to the drivetrain. All of this is for the Philippine Top Truck Challenge and the Borneo Sabah Safari, known as among the toughest off-road challenge races. And this thing here will be driven by a lady. I'm here with the driver of this competition rig, Karen Pagkil. Now, where are you going to be racing this? Actually, I don't know. I started with my boyfriend and I started with racing. So, that's what I wanted to do. And I didn't have a lot of women who were racing this. So, that's what I wanted to do. Where will you be competing? Actually, I'm in a sport time. Now, next year, the last leg, top top. There's a last sport, I think 12 or 13 leg. Visayas, Mindanao, Luzon. Then, last year, I was in RFC. And hopefully, next year, I'm going to be in Borneo. So what we have behind me is a childhood toy come to life. This is a 2017 Toyota Hilux built with the colors of the Tonka Truck Company. As you can see, it is very heavily modified for going off-road. It has a snorkel, a sports roof rack, and a bunch of LED headlights and other auxiliary lights for going off-road at night. We have four different kinds of Porsches here. So what kind of Porsche do you like? As you can see here, we have a 911 at this side and another 911 at the other side but this is a different kind of 911 this is angela king's or carporn racing's porsche it's a rawel porsche meaning rough world and it's a very very big ass or a very big butt which is the distinct characteristic of rawel porsches as you can see here the fenders have been widened very well and the each mods here are carefully chosen by Akiro Nakai, the maker of Rawal Porsches, to suit the car. And what's special about each of these Porsches is each of this has a name. And the name given to this Porsche is Noah. So, nandito tayo sa Line X booth dito sa Manila Auto Salon. And kasama natin si Ma'am JV. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you again. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about Line X? Oh, of course, yes. Uh, yes, we are the Line X. We are the leader in spray protective coatings in the industry, in the market. So, we are the world's number one when it comes to real protection. So, we were in the US 28 years ago and then 3 years ago in the Philippines. So, our advocate na rin is to educate yung mga tao what is Line X. So, the Line X po is originally a bed liner. To protect the bed liner, especially when it comes to rust, corrosion, so uh, four hours lang siya ya apply and then five seconds to you na po siya and never na po siya mapotoklap. So, para lang alam ng mga tao kasi ano pa talaga yung ginagawa ng Linex? I mean, kung titingnan mo to, this is just a plastic yes. cup, a paper cup rather, pero medyo matigas-tigas siya. 
So ano bang ginagawa talaga? What is, ano ba yung material ng Linex? Oh, ang material ko ng Linex is pure polyurea. So isa po siya sa pinakamatibay na material sa buong mundo. Tapos uh, pinapatibay niya yung isang bagay na kailangan lagyan ng protection. Tapos uh, para hindi na kalawangin. Para hindi na kalawangin, tapos para hindi na rin masira. Mm. So, kung kailangan nyo ng real protection, go for light Yes. Okay. So, meron ba kayong i-demonstration para sa ganito? Yes po, we have, uh, for example, our cooler box. Our cooler box na, na normal styro lang siya na nabili sa palengke for almost 100 pesos. Inuspray siya ng Linex protective coatings. Uh, hindi siya ganun kabigat pero kaya siya kapaka ng tao even you sir even you me jump. you can jump 100 kilos ako sigurado ka no just 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 take stabilize yeah, yeah, yeah. stabilize just jump jump no problem jump oh nga no yeah. oh nga even if pagka nito pa siya just jump just a styro normal styro galing 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 Hello, we are here at the Parts Pro. We are here with Shan, in charge of the display and sales manager of Parts Pro. Here to talk about a little bit about these cars. Um, first, what is Parts Pro? Well, Parts Pro is an online retail store. Basically, we source and uh, give uh, our customers options with, with regards to OEM placement. So I think you import the parts from yes. different countries, but mostly Japan. Uh, we, we also carry KW suspensions, uh, KW rims, BBS, Rota. We supply also with uh, Motul, And we can order all of these online. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So, can you tell me a little bit about the Civic? Here we have three very special Volkswagens. Yes, these are Carmen Gias. Both of these are actually Carmen Gias, while one of them is actually what's called a fastback. Fastback, yeah. And the other one over here is called a coupe. Coupe. Over, <laughs> over there, we actually have something called a kit car called the Bradley GT. These cars are primarily based on Volkswagen Beetles. They have a different body style. And their, but their engine, mechanicals, and everything underneath is almost practically the same as a Volkswagen Beetle. Like, take this for example. This German Kia is sporting a 1600cc engine um, from a Volkswagen Beetle. Well, this one, uh, this is a very unique German Kia because it's a new 1900 engine. It's a completely built engine from the US. Uh, it's, uh, it's specially designed for Volkswagen. So this one runs 15s on the quarter mile, uh, really fast for this type of cars. And these vehicles are both restored by Bug Eye Custom Restoration. So yeah, they did everything from the suspension, which are lowered, uh, the paintwork, the leather reconditioning, the engine, the, the chassis, everything was fully restored to pristine condition with these guys over here. 